Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Today, Stacey and I are going to give you a very short preview of episode seven. Um, I was fortunate enough to watch a version of it uh, before the internet said no and, uh, and took it away from us. Um, so a lot of things happened in episode seven. It's a really great episode. Um, I'm only going to talk about three specific spoilers. So if you, don't, if you haven't seen episode seven and you don't want to be spoiled about the big events, which I believe laid the foundation for episode eight, uh, which is titled Murder Night, uh, please cut off the video right now. All right, okay, there you go. So uh, everybody should have left by now. If not, that's your fault. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> this, <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, overall I can say that episode seven, like most episodes before the season finale, sets up the season finale. Uh, Murder Night uh, is, is, is here. Uh, it's going to be a Sunday night. Uh, Mississippi is headlining. A uh, Little Murder is her you know, music uh, background. Uh, they're a team now, so that's really what's happening at the end of this episode. Um, this is also supposedly the Pink's last night of, of performance. Uh, the club will be on the auction block the very next day. So the dancers and everyone and, and Uncle Clifford are like, let's go out with a, a bang and just see what, what, what tomorrow brings, okay? Um, so as for the dancers, um, Autumn Night, uh, Haley um, is, for some reason, dancing at this night. Um, she has over 100 grand in cash mind you um and uh, but she hears uncle clifford's call for help you know for one last dance so she decides to get up there and strut her stuff um after speaking with a mercedes earlier in the day uh, mercedes convinces autumn that she should bring andre to the club for one night of dancing and maybe six i guess um no no what, what, what's your thoughts on that Stacy. Okay, so my first encounter with a man should not be in a dirty ass strip club. Um, no, it's not okay. Go to the hotel room, consummate the relationship with the condom, and say goodbye. Adios. Yes. I'm out of here. That's right. That's right. That's right. Give him a good loving and leave him in the bed crying missing you that's that's what should happen we're gonna leave the fact that he's married we're gonna leave that out okay we're just gonna focus on a man and a woman who feel like hey we are really in love after maybe two dates maybe that um but yeah I, mind you as stacy pointed out the strip club is dirty in fact autumn brings this up earlier in the day to mercedes about how dirty the strip club is when she sees it in the daytime and says i can't believe i put my naked ass on this on this couch in the vip room but still, she decides that let, let's let, let Andre and I have one good night, you know, in the club. Um, I'm not going to tell you why, but that doesn't work out in the end. Um, so Andre leaves uh, for personal reasons. Let's say that. Uh, but you know who does come to the club? Montavious Hill. Uh, Haley's boyfriend, husband, baby daddy, something. I don't know. Um, Benefactor. Benefactor definitely mm -hmm. owner of the money and he's been tracking his money and he wants his money so uh he, uh, he uh the sheriff sees Haley going into the strip club in the daytime he contacts montavius who is looking for his wife to say i believe your wife is working at the pank um the sheriff doesn't confront this missing woman and say hey your husband's looking for you or right. anything are you okay are you okay i guess he's never are heard you of domestic hiding anything. from somebody did you run away from home for any particular reason? No. None of the, Oh, none yeah. of the, there's your wife at the strip club of all places. Oh, man. Hmm. Oh, man. This sheriff makes no effort to even confirm whether or not this woman is running from an abusive man, which she is. He just goes straight to the man and says, this is where you could find her, I guess, because I saw her in my rearview mirror. I didn't talk to her or nothing. I just saw her in my rearview mirror, so you go figure it out. So, anyway, instead of Autumn trying to have sex with Andre in his, in his uh, uh, hotel room like she should, she tries to go to the club. So that's why she's at the club, to have sex with Andre, I guess, and to help Uncle Clifford one last night, would put her in the position where Montavious sees Mercedes first. So Mercedes working the room, 
Um, she's there, you know, to help Uncle Clifford for one night. She didn't want to come back. She said she wasn't going to come back, but for Uncle uh, for in support of Uncle Clifford and the club, she comes back for one last night. She sees this man in a full suit. Why Montavious wears full suits all the time in the summer, I don't know. But he's sitting up there with a stack. Huh? He's a classic man. He's a classic man. He he has a uh, Steve Harvey esque to him. Like I can really see him in that age when big suits were a thing. But anyway, he's sitting up there with a stack of twenties instead of ones because he's never been to this particular broke strip club where you're supposed to have one dollar bills. Um, Mercedes sees the money, tries to approach him for a dance, but his eyes is fixed on his lady, uh, Haley, who's on stage for some reason, even though she don't need to be because she has a hundred grand. But anyway, she's on stage shaking it up and. And he he politely tells uh, Mercedes, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm focused on that one over there. So like episode one, Mercedes is like money opportunity. So she ushers Autumn over and Autumn can't see, you know, who's with Mercedes until she gets in front of her and sees Montavia sitting there. And uh, needless to say, they recognize each other. Um, and uh, it's yeah, but they both keep it cool. They keep it cool. Uh, Mon um, Mercedes is talking to Autumn because Autumn is shocked, like she's not moving. And Mercedes is like, "Get that money, girl. Get that money." Uh, she already got the money. That's why he's here. Uh, so um, Autumn leads um, Montavious into the VI VIP room in the back back. Um, and once he sits down in the chair, um, he crosses his legs and says, "Where is my money, girl?" And that's the end of the scene. Like it just it just kind of fades out. Um, bitch better have my money, right? That was a good poem. That was a good poem. Bitch better have my money. Yep. Yeah, anyway, so that's probably the conversation they're probably gonna be having right now. Now you should know that Mercedes is outside, and she has the coach, uh, the NFL coach, who likes to come see her, and she's asked them there to discuss business. She don't define what this business is. Um, what what are your thoughts, Stacy? What, what, what do you think? Either she wants to save the pink, so she needs an investor, or she's still trying to get the gym, so she also needs an investor. But she already hit a lick with Autumn, so what exact like? I don't. Know. So to that, so the lick, so um, they agreed on ten on ten stacks as they would refer to it. So that's it. That's it. And Autumn gives her the 10 stacks earlier in the day and she tries to give her a bonus and Mercedes says, no, I don't want any extra money. We agreed on 10 grand. I'm going to take 10 grand. Okay. You're going to fight your mama over 20 grand, but <laughs> you only going to take 10 from old girl. <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> she, you know, she has to know Haley has 10, a hundred grand plus easy easy there's no i mean you ain't hurting her she ain't gonna be broke i mean you see the car she's driving clearly she's not a big spender so i don't know what you're gonna do with all that money in the first place um which don't make no damn sense where she thinks she's gonna go with a car like that that actually draws attention a car that piece of shit it draws attention you're not blending in nowhere unless you're living in a broke ass place like you are right now like chuckaloosa she gotta get a prius and keep it moving Something, something economical that blends into a big city when she gets to a big city. But anyway, anyway, anyway. So, so Mercedes needs at least another ten grand to say to get her studio back, um, if not more, to save the paint. So I'm not sure how much what the coach is going to give up. But anyway, she's working the coach. She does see Autumn's um, stress. Her stress, you know, she sees there's something wrong with Autumn and this new customer. And I believe she's going to go look into this in that episode eight. I think that's how that's going to play out. Um, but she's definitely worried about Autumn at this point. She's, she's a little worried. I'll say a little worried. What do you think? Mm. Sounds like a pink gun situation. It sounds like a pink. And so once again, uh, Katori Hall said in the panel she was in la uh, earlier this week that you need to watch for the pink gun. So obviously we have a situation between Montavious, Mercedes, and Autumn that one of them might get shot. Okay. Um, now while this is oh go ahead. So I'm saying while this is happening, Lil Murder is preparing to make his debut um, for Murder Night. Uh, Mississippi. Let's get let's talk about Mississippi. So Mississippi's situation is developing quickly. 
Um, she almost kisses Diamond um, earlier in the, in, in the episode. Um, this is important because she didn't kiss him because Gidget comes, comes out screaming about her man, where is he at? And she's sexually frustrated. That's as much you get a Gidget this episode because, you know, you get shit by Gidget apparently. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so that kind of breaks up the tension between Marse- uh, Mercedes, uh, excuse me, uh, Mississippi and Diamond. It turns out that Derek and his two white friends, these are the only three white people I've ever seen at this club, have shown up for Mississippi's grand night. And clearly that's, that doesn't spell well for Mississippi. Okay. Um, so he goes in there. Gidget tries to confront um, um, uh, Derek about, you know, his abuse, saying if you, hit, if you touch her again, you know, I'm going you know, to take her away, that um, I'm going to move those two kids in with me. And then Derek puts Gidget in her place to say, last time I checked, uh, you live in a trailer park with your crackhead mama. So I, I don't think Mississippi's going anywhere. So um, I was like, damn, that's, that's real shit. I mean, yeah, yeah. What do you say to that? But true. No true. lies detected. No lies detected. But then <laughs> this begs the question, what kind of life does Derek give Mississippi? Like, does he have money? He don't dress like g- g- um, Gidget's boyfriend, you know, like just dirty and like stank. Like he looked like he comes from money, that he's comfortable at some level. So may, maybe I just I'm like I don't I don't understand. Like I'm trying to figure out this whole thing. But anyway, Miss um, Derek, who again is abusing Mississippi, is drinking alcohol on her on her tab, watching her give lap dances to people. This is not going to go well. So, I mean, that's a whole other thing that's setting up. And again, Diamond just almost got done kissing her, so he may feel some kind of ownership or protection over Mississippi. So, this may be a thing. And Diamond gave her, this is kind of morbid but sweet, he gave her um, this little um, um, jewel on a chain as protection. No, he did not see the fresh bruises on her. Huh? They go together. When a dude give you a chain... You something. Yeah, you something. Now it's now it's it's <laughs> it's kind of interesting that he didn't notice the fresh bruises on her, but he's still like, "Hey, I want to give you this chain because it's your first night. You're gonna." She's she's nervous about headlining, and he's like, "Here's my chain that I got from my dead friend who died protecting me in in the war, and I made a chain out of the out of the stone that he gave me, and I want to give it to you for protection." I'm like, that's. That's beautiful, but like it didn't work for your friend, obviously. And I'm like, I was thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude is dead, so um, oh, I'm not is sure. It foreshadowing what or what? Right. What are we doing? Right. So anyway, she has the stone of protection while she's up there uh, about to go dance, which is going to be a conversation I would imagine once Derek sees the chain around her neck. Like that could be that that could be an interesting conversation. Um, somebody's so, gonna get murdered. Huh? Yeah. But- are they boyfriend and girlfriend or just the fact that they got babies together? I don't get it. Derek and Mississippi? Mm-hmm. No, they're a couple. I mean, they're a couple. I mean, oh, okay. I, I, w- I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a couple. Um, but, I, but you know, Diamond, you know, he wants to be there for, you know, he's the man in the wings saying, I can take care of you. I can be better for you than this man, blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> the old 90s R&B song. Um, but, I, yeah, I don't know. So, I mean, clearly... Somebody's not walking away out of episode eight. Um, is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Derek? Um, is Diamond gonna finally try to protect? You know Mississippi. Um, so she said, "Look for the pink gun." Yes. Pink gun is in Mercedes' locker. Yes. Right. Yes. And who has the combination? Mercedes. Yes. Autumn. Yes. And Mississippi. Yes. So one of those three people yes. are going to go get the gun. Because for a fact, the only people who know for a fact that's in there right now is Autumn and, and Mississippi. Because Mercedes wasn't there when she, when she put the gun in there. So she could assume, but she don't know. Mississippi knows. Autumn knows. But if Autumn is currently you know, locked up in the VIP room with the man who's about to kill her for his money... You know what I'm saying? She she's not in a position to run away, go get the gun, and come back and shoot him. You know, like so that kind of leaves Mississippi in a position where she may, where Derek may confront her in the back or something, and then that turns into a thing. 
maybe, 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 maybe. Um, somebody getting shot. So it could be, it could be like a ghost <laughs> moment where like season one, where you knew, you knew, you knew who shoot They shot. better not do that. Oh, they do the, they do the ghost <laughs> moment. They do the ghost moment. <laughs> hey, so, okay. Montavious grabs Autumn, tries to drag her out the club. Like, you're going to give me my money one way or another, right? She's like, stop, stop, stop. Like, she's pulling, right? Then gunshots ring out. He gets hit. He goes down. But like, who shot him? Then it's going to be Mississippi, right? Derek was fucking with Mississippi. That's going on. Maybe that. Maybe the shot came from there. Maybe it was Diamond. Maybe Diamond probably has his own gun. I would imagine he shouldn't need the little pink gun. He is security for the damn club. I mean, you would imagine he has his own weapon. But, like, it could be all that shit's going on. Shot rang out. You don't know who got shot until, until season two. Like, it's going to be pandemonium. But it's going to be at least two to three good fights going on where uh, someone could have got shot in one of those moments, I do believe. Hmm. Maybe they shoot Montavious, hits him in the neck, it goes through, and then hits Derek too. Oh, oh, oh okay. This is uh, this is uh wanted. Two for one special. Two for one special. This is like wanted. She he bent uh so uh Mississippi bends the bullet like she swings the gun and it flies around the club <laughs> and takes out both of these men. Oh, that shit would be hilarious. I'll stop watching. I tell you right now, I'm gonna be like. If they do that, I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry, Tory Hall, you just lost a viewer. I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do the the, the wanted moment that you just put in this shit. Um, Diamond could go like John Wick, you know what I'm saying? Take down Derek Flips, takes down M- M- Montavious by himself using his Marine training, you know what I'm saying? Pink gun not even necessary. It just happens to be there, but it's gone. But it's, but it wasn't used. It was just all Diamond, and he solves the whole situation. Please or, no. Huh? Or the pink gun walks out of the locker by itself and just just starts shooting. Oh, okay. All right. So you don't know who did it. You know who got it. But everybody, everybody popping off shots. Turns out it'd be murder night. It's murder night. You know what did it? Gidget. No, I saw Gidget coming. She heard, she got the password. She she knew Mercedes lock. She got it. She's like, I'm gonna protect my friend. Or what? they shoot. At Montavious and they hit Gidget. Gidget dies. Yes. In like a a, a sorrowful moment of like. Aww. We're not laughing at her dying. That's not okay. But I'm saying it, no, it'd be, it'd not be, okay. It's not okay. Or but. she survives, and then her streak career goes through the roof. And then her boyfriend's gonna want to be there for her. Like, baby, I need to protect you. Get you out this life. Come run oxy with me which is much more safer. And then her mother feels so bad that she quits drugs and they move out of the trailer park into like a really nice house and they're clean and sober and... Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's the end of Gidget. They need need at least one white girl at the club for, you know, my, um, what's the word, um, affirmative action. You can't can't have, you at least have, you know, you gotta have proper representation. Um, Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that so these are the few few spoilers I'm gonna give you about episode seven. This again, it's a lot more happening with Uncle Clifford and all the kinds of characters. Um, but we will do all that when episode seven actually airs next Sunday. Um, and we will do a spoiler review for that. We'll have Chris in on this one. He didn't want to do this one because he didn't see the episode and he's like, I don't want any spoilers. Um, I get it. Face like fuck that. I got I gotta know what's happening. Um, all right, so say some other thing. It's very exciting. Again, it's a great episode. It's a great, great, well written, well directed. I was extremely impressed with how they did some of the, some of the visual stuff, um, and I, you guys are gonna love it. Um, and I look forward to reviewing the whole episode uh, there. And again, uh, episode eight after that, which again is gonna air, I would imagine, uh, before the season premiere of Power Book Two, uh, Ghost. Um, so we can get hyped for that and and, and see what shenanigans. Because remember. Tariq is taking Braid into a strip club. So Mississippi might be there. You don't know. She was already in book one. She can't be in it. But, you know, maybe Mercedes, maybe Mercedes or something like that. Autumn may show up. I don't know. Well, she was in book one. That's right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She, she, she fired Dre. <laughs> she, she can't go back to the stripper. That wouldn't make any sense. I, somebody would notice. I think somebody would notice at this point. Yeah. Um, they'd be like, wait, what the? Well, see, the Bassett thing with the shit, she didn't have a job, so she started stripping. It's a recession. It's a recession. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, who's that stripper that um, was working with um, 
Um, Tasha, they kept on bringing her baby to the club. Remember? Uh, her? Yeah. That was that was real sad. Tariq, Tariq might go visit that strip club. Like that would be interesting. Tariq needs to stay his butt in college. He do. You're not he do. Old enough. What is he? Eighteen? He's seventeen. He's. Oh, we're getting off track. The point is, guys, this is the P Valley video, so we're gonna stick to this. All right. So there you go. Did you see the bootleg copy? Uh, you got more any more spoilers you want to put in the comments? You can go ahead and do that. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Uh, we'll be back with more power stuff so we can probably address these strip club issues that will happen in Power Book 2. Um, and uh, we will see what characters will be alive at the end of uh, season one of, of P Valley. And how will they save the paint? They will save the paint. It, it's called P Valley. So the club can't go. That's obvious. It's in the name of the damn show. So. I'm not sure why they're acting like they're not gonna they're not gonna say the namesake of this whole damn series. So as a matter of fact, how are they gonna get the money? What's your thoughts? Of course, last us. Wait, how do you think they're gonna save the pink? Um, I think Haley is gonna come through some type of way for her money. That is the most obvious. I, I would say that's the most realistic. That's the most realistic. Cause I, I can't see no coach putting down 50 grand. And his wife is not going to notice that shit. Like, he, he has 50 grand just kind of laying around. Um, 10 grand, even that's a lot. Huh? Andre did that deal with the lease. So maybe his commission is a lot more. So he'll come with some money to the table in order to lure Haley into staying in town. It, well, you know, there's some family issues on both sides that that probably won't, won't be won't work out. But um, but that's a good option. That's possible. I I, th I do believe. I think I think Haley's the most realistic. I, I, I think I think Haley's the most realistic. Assuming again, she can get rid of Montavious alive or dead, and he if he not wanted the rest of his money back. Um, and I'm surprised Mercedes hasn't even brought that up to to, to Haley in the first place. Like the club needs money. What are you? Where are you going? Where are you going, girl? Where you, what future do you got? It's just you, this beat ass car, and a hundred grand. Stay here, buy the buy the paint, which you for some reason you enjoy dancing at now. For some reason, build this shit up and just stay here and start a new life here. Let Andre get a divorce, and y'all can live in in Chuckaloosa and raise new kids. No, you don't want to do that. You know what? To <laughs> we'll see. Andre didn't take his ass back to Atlanta. Yes. With his wife that loves him uh, more more than you know, you'll see in in the episode. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you again.